my railroad is kind of patterned after the DM&I railroad in northern Minnesota, which is no longer in existence. I've programmed a graphic display that uh, will allow me to control switches, uh, set signals, and plan routes. As an example, up here is number two switch. Uh, I can click on it and it will go to the reverse position. If I click on the signal, it will line a route, which is the green track up in here. Uh, I can put it to stop, put the switch back into position longer routes I can go there and the track will turn green and go under the tunnel and as I can line a route all the way to the ore docks from the iron range that way uh, all of the switches run from this this uh, display these are IO boards that I made to operate off of a printer port on a computer so I have two printer cards in a DOS computer that my graphics is running on. The left hand board is the output board that runs the switches and signals and the right hand board will be uh, an input board that will read all of the block circuits on the tracks which will be my primary inputs. This is my, my power supply board. It also has a small basic stamp computer that runs uh, my bud car shuttle which is DC. The shuttle will uh, run back and forth to one end to the other, slow down and stop at the stations, wait a while and then go in the other direction all on its own. Uh, I added some resistors to the track circuit to slow it down as it comes close to the the end of its thing and then I use some optocouplers to detect its presence at the end and shut it off. This is the ore docks with a model of uh, the Edna G which is the tugboat used on the DM and IR for lining ships up into the docks and harbors. It's now a museum in Two Harbors, Minnesota.